Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Academy Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials where in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use and detect swipe gestures within the Swift language. Now already on the simulator I have an example of what we're going to be creating today. We have an application here and we have a simple label in the middle. There's no buttons involved as this all works on based on which way we swipe on our screen. Now the label's there to basically dis display the information and tell us which way we swiped and to show you that you can perform actions depending on what way you swipe or even if you do want to swipe on the screen. So this is basically set up to, depending if we swipe left, right, up or down, it's going to perform an action and the action, like I said before, is going to perform is display that certain piece of text within the label. Now the text it's going to display is the way we swiped. So if we swipe right, the label will say right. So if again we go to do it right now, so if I swipe up, you can see it says up. If I swipe down, it says down. If I swipe right, it says right. And if I go left, it swipes left. So I can swipe any way I possibly want and the action will perform and they change the label's text. So this is basically what we're gonna to create today and my project already set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Swipe Swift for the purpose of this tutorial. Okay then, so what I'm going to do first then is change our interface within the main.storyboard to a particular sized iPhone screen. Then we need to add the label in to indicate that the action is being performed when we go to swipe. So if I just drag and drop one in and I space it out so it's quite nice and big and I center it. And then we'll quickly add in some missing constraints to set it resizes on different iPhone screens. And then once I've done that, I'm going to bring up the assistant editor where we're now going to add the outlet in so we can refer back to it and send our piece of text to it when we start to swipe. So I'm going to right click or control click and drag it over. And I'm going to type in here label. So it's nice and easy enough to understand. And then we're going to close the assistant editor and bring up the standard editor. And then once we've done that, we can jump straight into our view controller.swift. Okay then. So now we've got this set up, we need to do some configurations to allow us to swipe on the screen. Now, as this doesn't revolve around any particular buttons that we need to interact with, it's all to do with the screen. So we need to create functions and basically set it all up. And how we do this is have it all within the view did load. So what we need to do then is create these um, recognizable gestures. So in the view did load here, I'm going to space it out now so you can clearly see. We're going to create now our variables to swipe in left, right, up, and down. And each one of them is going to have its own selector and target and its own recognizable gesture. So what we're going to do is create our variable. And I'll simply name this left swipe. And it's simply going to equal our UI swipe um, gesture uh, recognizer. So UI swipe gesture recognizer there. And then we can do our two parentheses here. And inside we can do a target. Of the object, it's going to be self. Of the action, it's going to be a selector. Let me do it again. Two parentheses there, and then inside it, do a two quotation marks, and we simply name it handle swipes. There we go, and we finish that off there. Now, if I copy and paste this and create four variables and making sure we rename each one something different, so this will be our right swipe, our up swipe, and then finally our down swipe. So we don't need to change anything else within them. We just need to make sure that we have created variables for all of the four directions we wish to swipe in. Now we've done that, we need to then link up this variables to the direction of where it's going to swipe. For example, if I type out now left swipe and then dot direction, so which direction is this left swipe going to go? Even though we call it left swipe, that it's not going to go left. That was just the name of the variable. And we want that to equal dot left. Make sure there's a capital on the L there. And we're going to repeat this process again for all four of them, making sure that each one, so we've got our right swipe here, is going to equal our dot right. We have our up swipe here, going to equal our dot up. Making sure that each one of these has a capital on the uh, beginning of the, um, the direction because it can conflict and it doesn't seem to work. And this is finally our down swipe, going to equal our dot down. 
Okay, so now we've basically got these all set up. We now need to go and add these gestures to our view. So when we interact with it, it basically knows what's going on. So then we type out our view. Dot. We need to add a gesture to it. And what we're going to add in beside of it is our left swipe. And all we need to simply do now is copy and paste this again and create three more. So we've got um, all four of them set up. So this is our right swipe, our up swipe, and then finally our down swipe. So then we're all basically set up. Our screen's gonna detect these swipes, uh, left, right, up, and down, and it's created these um, gestures on the view. So it's all, it's all perfectly fine, it's all gonna work beautiful. But now we need to basically create some kind of feature to basically show us that it's working. And this is where the label comes into play. We're gonna create a function statement to handle the swipes, and how that's gonna work is if the swipe direction equals left, then perform a certain action. And the actions we're gonna to get to perform is display text within a label. So just at the bottom here, I'm gonna space all this out so we can clearly see what we're typing. So we're gonna get our function statement, so I'll type out our function here, and I'm simply gonna name it handle, oh, handle swipes, and create our parentheses there, create our sender, colon, and that's gonna be our UI swipe gesture recognizer there. And it's actually there we do our parentheses and press enter. Okay, so what we're gonna do is create our if statement. So basically if, two parentheses there, the sender, as we've now linked it to our view, dot direction equals equals, and let's start with our left one, dot left, oh, make sure it's a dot not a, comma, dot left, then do this action between the two parentheses there. And the action we want it to perform is to get the name of our label, which we simply called it label, to type out label dot text, simply equal our two um, quotation marks there in our string to simply display the word left. So when we swipe left now, our label will display the word or the text left. Now, like we've been doing all before, we simply copy and paste this, so we've got four all together, making sure we change each one of them, the direction to right, up, down, make sure you've got capitals on those, and again, with a text from within it, and then finally down. There's one thing we have missed, and we need to make sure that we have this in. On the handle swipes at the top here within the strings of the selector, we need to make sure we have a colon on each one. And the reason being for this is because this handle swipes is then linked up to our function statement here. So we just need to make sure we've double checked that. And now we can go to build and run and test it out. Okay, so once it's loaded up, we can now begin to interact with our screen. So if I swipe up, our label displays up, if I go left, left, down, displays down, and then swipe right, and it displays the word right. So that's how you can simply interact with the screen and swipe wherever you like and perform actions on it. Now you can take this step further. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can move objects with it. It's heavily used in games, this feature where you're trying to move your character along, or you just want to basically have some nice simple transitions throughout your application. It's a very handy feature to have and it's great fun for your users to play around with. So that's simply how you add swipe gestures within the Swift language. I hope this helps in your apps or projects at the moment and I'd like to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Hey guys, just before we click off this video, I have a few more bits of information that I'd love to share with you. But just before I do, if this tutorial helped you in any way, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links will be in the description below. If you want more up-to-date and in-depth tutorials on iOS 8, Xcode 6 and the Swift language, then make sure you guys enroll in our complete iOS 8 and Xcode 6 course the links will be in the description below. And if you guys want to learn on the go, make sure you download our Xcode tutorial application from the App Store where you can get much more than what we offer on YouTube. 
Again, links for this will be in the description below. And if you guys want to kick back and blow off a bit of steam, make sure you go check out my gaming channel where we have a lot of fun, play with a lot of friends and generally just have a good time. So make sure again you go subscribe to that channel. But once more, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.